what's up guys coming back at you today with another video heading to town try to find something to get into tonight weather's kind of gloomy raining don't know what i'm gonna find to do yet but i'm gonna find something um wanted just to come at you because it's not really much car related going on this weekend um talk to you a little bit I've been promising some reviews on my other mods um, basically the, the rest of my mods I don't really have much to say about them um, you know I got my intake you know it's the engine technologies short ram intake um, you know it's a pretty good intake I'm gonna try to see if I can find a way to purchase just the lower portion and make it the full cold air intake maybe that would uh, provide some bigger power gains than what the short ram has and uh, the short ram didn't really provide a, a whole lot of power gain in my opinion um, I didn't dyno it so I, I don't know you know what it was before and after the intake install um, you know so I want to try to see if I can extend it on down so it'll pull in actual cold air and see if that'll help the performance any um, but overall, I mean, it's been a good intake, gives it a good sound. Um, you know, when I have my stock exhausted, deep in the tone of the exhaust up some, but it, you know, it does provide the engine with a little better airflow. Um, but I mean, for the money, I mean, it's, it was pretty good. You know, I picked this one up for about 180 bucks on Amazon. Um, now I'm sure you can probably find some other prices, you know, in other places. I I have seen this intake online for as much as like 220 for just a short ram. So I mean, it, it all depends on how much research you want to do and finding the best price. <coughs> So, I mean, it, if you're looking for a, a decent intake that actually gives a, a decent sound and, you know, it, it sounds pretty good when you're actually getting down on it. Um, you yeah, know, you can actually hear it pulling the air pretty good. So, you know, it's not too bad for the money. You know, if you can do some shopping around and find one at a lower price. Uh, next thing, uh, my fog lights. You know, the fog lights work great. They actually do help visibility at night when it's raining and fog out. You know, it doesn't do like the white fog lights and just glare off of everything even more. These actually help you see the road a little better. So, you know, I am glad of that. I picked the, this set of fog lights up. It was the fog lights, the trim bezels, and the wiring harness and the switch. I picked it up for about $43 on eBay. So, I mean, it's not bad. Uh, I do need to find me another switch. The switch that come with it has kind of crapped out on me. Um, so I may wire it up to just a regular flip toggle switch instead of the push button. Um, next thing, uh, the tires that I got. I know when I did the video for me and RJ putting on my brakes, I talked a little bit about them. They're the Ironman uh, all-season tires. Um, it's the second generation of the Iron Man all seasons. So far, they're pretty good tires. 
they seem to handle really well on dry pavement and in the rain uh, I don't drive my car much when it snows so I, I can't speak on snowy weather but uh, I can say in rain they seem to stick pretty good to the road and they do have some pretty good grip on them I mean they got a decent amount of tread especially for being a low profile tire I mean my car runs 225 45 18s and uh they, they got some good grip on them so I'm gonna probably come back later you know let you know how they're wearing uh, let you know how they're doing and, and stuff like that so you know if you're interested in trying to find a, a cheaper tire that actually performs well you know these so far seem to be doing pretty good um, like I said you know, prices on these tires will vary depending on where you get them from. Uh, I picked them up from where I work. You know, I got an employee discount on them. So I, I did get them for a little bit better deal. But, you know, overall, like I said, I mean, they're a cheaper tire anyway. They don't really have a mileage warranty on them like some tires do come with but for the price you know you can't really complain too much about that you know because a lot of the times the tires that do come with the tread wear warranty they're going to be more pricey because you do have to pay you know for that warranty that you get with them so like i said i'm going to come back later you know periodically and let you know how the tires are wearing how they're continuing to perform um but that's about it for the for the rest of my mods that i actually have done to the car um as far as performance wise that, that you know i can really give a good opinion on i am looking into some other mods i am looking into getting the agency power uh, crank pulley it uh, is a lighter weight pulley than what comes from the factory I've heard some really good things about them uh, a buddy of mine with another TC he put it on his and his is automatic but he said he still noticed a very considerable difference in how quickly the engine revs um, so I'm going to look into getting that uh, I have found them online for about 150 bucks, which I don't feel is too bad for that. The only issue then being is I've got to find someone with the tools that can help me put it on. Um, <coughs> other than that, uh, here in the next hopefully month or so, I'll be ordering my coilovers. And hopefully not much more than that I will after I order them you know, hopefully they'll come in pretty quick I can get them put on that way they can uh, get good and settled before the next car show season starts um, you know I don't really have any big events coming up until April the first of which is uh, wrong turn fitment in Wilkesboro and then the very next day is uh, import face-off in Rockingham so I want to try to get them where I can let them settle in good before those two shows um, and I'm going to come back with you later on more info on those shows as well in case you're in the area and want to ride out because wrong turn fitment is actually a free event it's free to show your car free to attend they're going to have some big name vendors there uh you know i mean that should be a pretty good time and then of course import face off you know you got to pay to get into i'm going to put my car into the car show i'm not 
running my car and testing tune because let's just be honest it's not really fast enough to try to race anybody so uh, I'm gonna stop by the store up here real quick and grab me a monster I always gotta have a monster when I'm going out um, so when I come back out of the store I've actually got a pretty big announcement I'm gonna make concerning the channel and subscribers and my YouTube followers so I'm gonna run into the store real quick and I will be right back all right guys uh, about my big announcement you know I did have to go and get me a monster I always gotta have that hey I just seen another white TC um, but anyway about my big announcement uh, the reason I always say to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to follow me on Instagram I, I've been thinking about this and pondering in it in my mind for quite some time now I want to do a giveaway that way you feel like you're getting something from my channel and you know it's it kind of gives some incentive to to watch the videos and subscribe and follow me on Instagram so I, I haven't decided what just yet um, uh, I'm probably gonna go through one of my sponsors and get something to give away now it's not going to be anything extravagant i mean my sponsors i'm sponsored by united culture uh speed united apparel uh stickerboost.com and uh sniffs for whips which i don't have their air fresheners up yet i received this air freshener from united culture before i received the Sniffs for Whips air fresheners. Um, so you're going to start seeing their air fresheners in my videos, obviously hanging from my mirror. Um, so, I mean, it could be anything from a keychain to a sticker to an air freshener to maybe a t-shirt. Um, you know, just whatever I may find from my sponsors that, that I want to give away. Um, this contest is probably going to be what I call a surprise contest. Like, you know, once I get to where I'm doing the giveaway, you know, not post what it is that the prize is. Um, but more or less do the contest do the giveaway and whoever wins you know is just going to receive it in the mail they're not even going to know what they're getting you know it it could be anything you know that that my sponsors sell so um with that being said to do the giveaway before i get to where i actually do it um uh, i'm going to need 50 subscribers once my YouTube channel hits 50 subscribers, that's when I'm gonna do the giveaway. As soon as, or well, probably the same day as my subscriber count hits 50, I'm gonna make a post on Instagram about it, you know, that I hit 50 subscribers. And then I'm gonna post on there to comment below that post and let me know that you follow my Instagram and you're subscribing on my YouTube and I'm going to randomly pick someone from that list that comments and I'm going to send them a direct message and then they're going to receive 
the prize in the mail. So, like I said, subscribe here. You know, it should be somewhere right around here if you're on your phone, right around here, you know, right around here if you're on a computer. Um, go ahead and subscribe. You know, if you want to receive notifications about my videos, go ahead and hit the bell. It should be right beside the subscribe button. Uh, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. It's basic underscore TC 2.0. Um, so yeah, that's about all I got for today. I'm pulling up at my buddy's house. We're going to try to find some stuff to get into today. Like I said earlier, it is kind of raining and kind of gloomy and just all around blah. Um, so yeah, like I, like I always say, subscribe here, follow my Instagram. Um, you know, don't forget to comment below and let me know things that you want to see as far as content on the channel. You know, I'm, I'm open to all suggestions for content. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for the car, you know, any, any mods, any sponsorships that you think I might be able to get. Uh, I'm always open for sponsorships. Um, actually I'm about to pick up another one and I'm going to give some more information on that once I receive some more information. Um, so yeah, you know, just comment below, leave me suggestions, uh, follow me on IG, you know, like my post on there, comment. Um, but yeah, that's about all I got for today, guys. Uh, and if I find anything car related, I'll try to get some video of it and bring it to you later in the week. So, uh, for now, y'all be good. Take it easy. Peace.